A slow computer is slow because it's trying to do too much work with too few resources. So to improve your machine's performance, I'm gonna show you how to reduce the work it has to do and show you how to give it more resources. So let's look at our startup programs. If you start your computer and it's laggy for a few minutes after Windows loads, it's probably still starting up. You can make it faster by doing this. Open up your task manager, click on the startup tab up here. You want to control how many applications start up when you turn on your computer. Now simply put, the more stuff here your computer has to do starting up, the slower your machine's going to be. Also the more programs that are open, the more work your computer has to do as they're running in the background. So disable whichever applications you don't think you need. Now for full transparency, I had no idea Edge was being enabled on startup. This is why you should teach, because you learn something new every day. Now you should also disable the services you don't need. Now in the systems configuration, go to the services tab and disable whatever services you don't think you need. Now this is also going to help your performance because the more services you're running, the more work your computer has to do. Again, if your machine is slow, it's probably down to programs using too much memory and CPU for these services and you want to just get rid of them. Now another point of contention is graphics. Windows does a bunch of things graphically to make it look nice and to give you a good experience. But if your machine is slow, you should probably think about sacrificing this for speed. So you want to adjust the visual effects. To do this, open up your control panel, go into system, advanced system settings and settings under performance. Now you can adjust this for the best performance by just... Now adjusting the visual effects can improve your computer's performance by reducing the graphical demands on the system. And you have a couple of options here, so let's just talk about them briefly. One, you can let Windows choose what's best for your computer. This is the default and it's what Windows is automatically doing. The second one, you can adjust for best appearance. So this is the most expensive one and if you're having performance issues, I recommend not using this. If you have a powerful computer, fire away with this and enjoy yourself. The third is adjust for best performance. Now this option disables all the unnecessary visual effects you have. And to be honest, if you're watching this video, this is probably the one you want to go for. Because if you're watching this video, you probably have performance issues. Unfortunately, you're not here for the comedy. So the fourth is custom. This allows you to manually select what you want. Now, if you're not comfortable with this, again, go with the last one. Another thing you can do is you can increase your virtual memory. Now increasing virtual memory can improve your performance by providing additional virtual RAM where the physical RAM isn't enough. Now this is a memory management technique. It uses a portion of your hard drive or your SSD to extend the capacities of your physical RAM. So what it's going to do is it's going to move data that's not actively being used to a special file called a paging file. Go to the advanced tab in the performance option window and under virtual memory click on change. Here you're going to configure the paging file so you can uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives. So if automatically managing paging file size for all drives is checked, you can uncheck it. Select the drive where you want to set the paging file and you can choose a custom size. So choose a custom size and enter an initial size and a maximum size for the paging file. Click on apply and restart. Now again, without getting into the nuts and bolts of this, the reason you want to do this is so you can handle having more applications open. Now you can also defrag your drive. This is actually something I've done lots of times in older machines. Now a defrag works because of how your hard drive stores data. So defragging is like reorganizing the data on your hard drive so that it's more efficient to read from. Now there's more to that, but I don't think you want me to explain how memory works on this video, but trust me, the defrag will help. So how to defrag? First, press your Windows key, just type in defrag and press enter. You can select the drive to defrag. First, you want to analyze the drive, so click on the analyze button. This will tell you if it's worth your while doing this. And then when you're ready, click on optimize. And that will start reorganizing the fragmented data. And you just have to wait for the process to complete. The final thing you can do to increase performance is just delete stuff. Find old cache files, delete them. Delete old programs you're not using. As your computer gets older and older, you pick up more and more stuff that you don't really need. And this is just memory intensive, so you want to just get rid of it. In fact, really, this is the first thing you should have done. It's just the least fun thing to talk about. So on a YouTube video, I had to put it last. Another thing to look at, if none of these techniques work, then the final thing you can do to get the best performance out of your machine is just delete Windows and install Linux. Look, at this stage, if none of the above helps, 
your only option is to upgrade your hardware for potentially thousands of dollars or just pull the bandage off and install Linux. Linux is way less resource intensive and to be honest, Windows for you is just not working. What do you think you're getting from Windows that Linux can't provide and is that feature really worth buying a new machine or spending thousands of euros upgrading your old machine? Now look, I use Windows clearly, but I use Linux as well. In fact, I run my TV off Linux. At the end of the day, these computers are supposed to work for you. You're not supposed to work for them. So don't be afraid to try something new out. What do you have to lose? But I'll tell you what you have to gain, like potentially thousands of dollars, right? That's what you have to gain. I'll put a link in the description so you can try it out for yourselves.